Our film begins with a little kid at the start of the film, who was an orphan. He had started to lead a sorrowful life. So, he comes to his grandmother. He is Hero Boy. However, he used to be in pathos because he missed his parents. His mother was very affectionate and kind, hearted. She used to take excellent care of Hero Boy. Bert, Hero Boy, was not accommodating here. Her grandmother says to him, I bring a pet for you. Play with it and befriend it. Share your secrets with it. Within several weeks, his grandma gives him a mouse. To have that rat made Hero Boy very happy, he used to spend most of his time with it. He always said to his mother, Grandmother, mice lead their life enjoyably. They jump and continue to play in their cages. One day, Hero Boy is playing with that mouse in his room. A witch is staring at her from outside. That witch's sight was weird. Hero Boy's grandmother's condition deteriorates in tandem. She is recovered after a time. She says to Hero Boy, Come on, my son. Let's walk outside. Then they move for a shopping to a store. A lady approaches to Hero Boy as he goes a little far from his grandmother. She was witch in reality. She offers a chocolate to Hero Boy. She was the same witch who was staring at their house on that day. She says to Hero Boy, Dear child, come here. She was bewitching him. That witch had also a mysterious snake. Meanwhile, Hero Boy's grandmother calls him as getting time. Seeing him, Hero Boy begins to run towards her, and that witch hurriedly disappears from there. Hero Boy, tells his grandmother, coming to house grandmother, that woman was talking to me mysteriously in the store. She was giving me chocolate forcefully, and she was saying, listen to me. She had also a snake. So his grandmother says to him, my son, she was a witch. Why do we forbid you from eating anything given by strangers? It is highly likely that it has been drugged. Most importantly, why would you want to eat something offered by a witch? She will surely try to lure you. Let me share my childhood tale with you. I was at the age of 10 years old. I have also a friend. We were going somewhere. Suddenly, my friend vanished from there while walking. A strange lady was offering her a chocolate when I glimpsed her. She was the witch. It is better to say that she was the leader of witches. So I left that place, taking my friend. Next day, when my mother was making my hair tail, my buddy converted into a chicken right in front of my eyes. It means that witch had cursed her. It is also possible that there was something in that chocolate which she ate. So I keep away myself from the witches from my childhood. Next time, keep away from them, not taking anything. Inform me as someone comes to you. Hero Boy's grandmother tells him, My son, we will soon leave this place, because our house has come in the eyes of the witches, and she attacks on the lower class people first. There was a hotel going ahead of their house. There was grandmother's cousin, who was an executive chef of that hotel. And she had intimacy with the hotel manager, saying to him, she reserves a small room for her. It means hotel manager was a good-hearted man. Grandmother and hero boy shift into that hotel. They are free to go wherever they want. But then something strange happens. At first sight, many witches enter that hotel because there is their gathering, and they have to take a marvelous dinner after this. All witches were so modish. They meet manager, arriving there. They say to him, you know who we are. So, arrange a hall for our gathering. Actually, it is their plan that they will abduct all children. Otherwise, we will offer them the chocolate containing the magic formula. Eating them, all kids will be turned into the animals. Because kids are very ill-mannered according to us, and they don't deserve to exit in this world. Now we have not much time to scrutinize the ill-mannered children. So we will victimize all the children. Now the night falls, and Hero Boy is talking with his grandmother. It is raining outside. Hero Boy asks, Grandmother, how do the witches look like? His grandmother says that their fingers are longer. Their nails are filthy. This is the cause that they put on the gloves. They are bald, so they use wigs or big hats. Hearing these facts, Hero Boy was very frightening. As the storm rages on, morning eventually arrives. Hero Boy was unhappy. So he goes to the Grand Hall and takes his mouse to play with. At the same time, all witches approach there for gathering. Feeling fear, Hero Boy hides himself there. Grand High Witch begins to sniff him, but she finds him nowhere, so she starts her meeting. Now all witches were seated on the chairs, and there was Grand High Witch before them. She shows them a potion and calls it a magic formula. If you will pour a single drop of it into the candy or chocolate, that candy will transform the kids into the animal while affecting. It will be the effect of it. She begins to talk about it more details. Then she smells Hero Boy again. She begins to sniff the stage. At this time, her nose and face were looking disgusting and ridiculous. At last, she was the Grand High Witch. So she throws the stage aside, lifting it. 
but there is no one under the stage. But there was a ventilator window behind it. Where she encounters Hero Boy, she stars to capture him. Then a bulky kid arrives there who was the son of any guest there. All witches capture him, moving towards him. He was fond of eating. So, witches feel contentment seeing it that we can entrap him with no difficulty. And they offer him the same chocolate laced with that potion by them. That child is transformed into a little mouse, eating that chocolate quickly. Now witches themselves begin to feel fear, seeing that mouse. And they are about to crush that mouse under their heeled shoes. Then Hero Boy possesses that mouse, coming out of the ventilator window. But Hero Boy had committed a mistake of doing so, because all witches grab him while catching his sight. Then they apply a single drop of that magical liquid into his ear. Consequently, Hero Boy is also turned into a mouse. Now the mice of Bulky Child and Hero Boy immediately run from there. There is also the pet mouse of Hero Boy along with them. Then it is revealed she was a little girl, which had also transformed into a doe, offering her chocolate. Three of them create a good bond of friendship, and they say, we will surely take revenge from these witches. Hero Boy immediately moves to his grandmother, and he tells her, Witches had transformed us into the mice, my grandmother. She says, Hell with these witches. They turn my kids into the mice. I will take revenge from them. Now, Hero Boy tells his grandmother, The important tidbit is that the space in which these witches reside, its terrace is visible from our room terrace. Then, grandmother hits upon a plan and she says, I am knitting a sock. I will descend you, putting into it. You may move upward, stealing her magical liquid, and I will reform you. So she does the same. Grandmother puts her grandson, Hero Boy, into that sock. Then she begins to descend. Hero Boy is scaring from that witch, but she is not there. Lifting that potion, Hero Boy comes back into the sock. That witch glimpses it as his grandmother is pulling up that sock, and she catches the sock firmly. Then Hero Boy's grandmother says, Leave it! When I was knitting this sock, then it dropped down by me. So I am pulling it upward again. That witch says, How is it? Then she is about to check the sock. Witnessing it, she could kill the mouse of Hero Boy. Meantime, manager approaches there, so she leaves the sock. Now, grandmother had got that potion upstairs. She poured the liquid into the plate and placed the three mice one by one. But what is this? That magical liquid does not affect, because that potion could transform the human into animal, not the animal into the human beings. Hero Boy says, Grandmother, we cannot be recovered. Why should we not pour this potion into the soup of witches, which they are going to take? By the way, you may move to the kitchen. Grandmother says, Wow, kids, what a fantastic idea you have revealed. Then she moves to that kitchen, taking these three of the mice into her bag, where the soup of witches is being prepared, and she infuses that potion into it. Then hotel manager encounters grandmother of doing so. He asks, Are these mice yours? They should not be taken into the kitchen if these are your pets. You have committed a filthy act. Then grandmother says, These are not my mouse. Check everything. Grandmother has hidden those mice into the corner of her bag. The manager does not find the mice anywhere while checking her room and luggage. So he feels embarrassment. Then grandmother says, I will complain against you. How did you check the room of anyone for no cause? Now look, police will seal your hotel. That manager is sacred and says, Oh lady, have courage. What happened at all? You may have dinner on my part. I apologize you. Then grandmother succeeds in her plane, even though she also gets for eating. Then the dinner time of those witches is also approaches. Those witches had prepared that soup only for themselves, and it was going to be good that, that they will be turned into the dough, taking this soup. At the first sight, all witches are transformed into the mice as they take soup. Grandmother is feeling pleasure, witnessing them, and it was also giving a pleasurable sight. Grandmother herself and all the hotel workers begin to kill mice. But the bad luck was this. Grand High Witch had not still tasted the soup. As a result, she does not turn into the dough. Then three of the mice set a trap. They make Witch's finger catch in the trap trickily. So that witch begins to shout, so they instantly pour that potion into her mouth. Now, she had also transferred into dough bigger than other mouses, and they bind her into a glass cup. The grandmother then keeps the cat in front of the witch's cage. And who knows? That cat may eat or kill that mouse while attacking it. Now grandmother is very excited, putting three of the mice into her bag. She comes out of that hotel, because she had no threat of the witches now. She could also spend a life in her house. It is seen outside that bulky kid's parents are very worried. Where did our son go? But his mother was very indecent. She never used to love his son. And when her son is talking in the mouse voice, 
she is extremely fearful and says, Hold it in your complete control. I will not consider taking it. That mouse also says, All right, I got my friends. I am thankful to get rid from them. Now grandmother brings three of the mice along with her, and she offers them food. Three of the mice were happy from their life and their new friends, and grandmother used to take their utmost care. The interesting fact was this. Three of those mice never wanted to turn into human being. They used to run, jump, play, and enjoy. And grandmother used to feel contentment seeing them. The movie completes here with an upbeat ending. It is hoped that you have had a good time. We have reached the end of the summary. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to watch more videos like this. Thank you for watching.